Hi, welcome to Inspiration Retreats with Shari. I'm your host, Dr. Shari, and I am super delighted that you tuned in again this week to hear God's Word. Today is Friday, April the 24th, 2015, and God has another special message just for you. And it is, live by faith. That's right, God has us on faith again this week. So let's jump into His Word, but first, as always, let's pray. Most gracious and all wise God, creator of heaven and earth, Lord, we just love you. We thank you because you are God. You sit high and you look low. But although you sit high and you look low, you also live in the hearts of those who love your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, that means you are just as close as a heartbeat or a breath away. And Father God, we just thank you because you are so close to us that you love us so dearly. And Father God, we love you. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray and ask you right now, Father God, not the words that I would say, but what you want your people to hear. Even those who do not even acknowledge you as God, as Lord, as Savior. Father, we ask you right now to just touch their hearts, Father, as they hear your word. Let them run across it, Father God. Let them hear your word so that their lives are forever changed. And Father God, we're ever so grateful for all that you do, and we will always give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, thank you for tuning in. And so God's message for you this day is live by faith. Live by faith. So we are in Habakkuk. That's right, Habakkuk. He is um, one of those minor prophets. Minor meaning it's only three short chapters to the book of Habakkuk. But he is a prophet. And he was a prophet who did not mind asking God questions. And I know today, all those things in this world are going on, we also have questions. And so... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not the fact that we ask God the question. It's the fact that we have to have our faith, our trust, our whole everything rooted and grounded in Jesus, in God, in the answer that he has given. And so just like in Habakkuk's day, we're looking at chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. He gave an answer to Habakkuk. So let's listen to what he says. First Habakkuk says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me, answered Habakkuk, answered us actually. We can apply this to our very lives. Although we can apply it to the second coming of Jesus the Christ, we can take it even personal and apply it to our very lives this day. So God's answer to you is, live by faith. He says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, and make it plain upon tables, that he may run and readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. So what God is telling us through the book of Habakkuk is he had Habakkuk to write out the vision. And it was plain. That is plain for us today. That it is applicable to our lives this very day. Now, it would... Although it may tarry, it's still going to happen. That is that Jesus Christ will come. He will come again. That will happen. God is solid and permanent on that. He wants you to know that this day. He wants those who do not know Jesus as their Savior this day to know Jesus as their Savior. You can't rely on your own knowledge. You can't rely on your own thinking. You can't rely on what... People have put in textbooks or what people may even put on the internet as facts. God is truth. His son, Jesus Christ, is truth. And so it, that person that is proud in themselves, they're like, oh, I know, I know, I got knowledge on this. But God is saying the just, those who are just, those who live upright, those are the people who live by faith and faith in Jesus Christ alone. 
Now, someone who is knowledgeable or the learned, they may say, oh, well, that is just impossible. How can you live by faith? You can't touch it. You can't see it. You can't put a formula to it. So how can you live by that? That must mean that you're, you're not as intelligent as you think you are. It is not about intelligence. It is about pure faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. The only way that we can please God is to impossible to please God if we don't have faith. God has given us faith. Faith is a gift. It's wrapped up in Jesus Christ. He is who we preach. He is who I am preaching about right now. Jesus the Christ. Without Him, we would not have life and life more abundantly. We would not even have an opportunity at the Tree of Life. We would not have that opportunity to reach out and be able to be reconciled with God. It is because of our faith. Faith in God. Faith that we know that God loved us so much that He gave His only begotten Son. When we look at Romans, when we look at God's Word in Romans 10, looking at that 8th verse, it says, But what saith it? The Word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart. That is, the Word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and you believe in your heart, that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It is just that simple. It's on the simple profession of our faith. Do you love God this day? Love him because he has loved you so much that he gave his son for you. All you have to do is believe. Believe on the simple truth that Jesus, he is God. Yet, at the same time, he came to this earth, wrapped himself in flesh, and became fully man. So that he could pay the sin debt that you couldn't pay, that I couldn't pay, that no one could pay. Even though there was the law, and the prophets gave all what was going to prophesy what would happen. No one could actually fulfill the law until Jesus Christ. Now, because of him... We can have life and life more abundantly. But the just, the just live by faith. If you want to live by faith this day, if you want to be justified by God, all you have to do is believe, 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 believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. Believe in your heart. That he is the son of God. Believe in your heart. That by him. And only by him. Can your sins be forgiven. That you can be reconciled to God. It's nothing that you can do. It's nothing that anyone could do. It's all what Jesus has already done. And all you have to do is live. All you have to do is live. You will live and not die. And declare the works of the Lord. The works of the Lord is Jesus Christ. And so all you have to do is have faith. Faith. We live by faith. Are you ready to join God's family? If you are, all you have to do is surrender. Surrender your heart to Him. He is waiting at the door of your heart. He is waiting for you right now. Say this prayer with me. But mean it from your heart, although you're saying it with your lips. Father, I am a sinner, and I'm in need of a Savior. I believe your Son, Jesus Christ, died on a cross for my sins. I believe that by faith, I am now saved. I believe that you will change my life. You will come into my heart and change my life so that I can live by faith daily. I thank you now for your son, Jesus Christ, and it's in his name I pray. Amen. If you just said that beautiful prayer with me and you meant it from your heart, God heard it, and now you have been welcomed to the family of God. It is my privilege to encourage you to get into a great Bible teaching, Bible believing church so that you can hear more of God's word, so you can study his word for yourself, and so that you can Leo, bye.
faith. God bless you.